guys, it's Renny, and today I'm going to go over the musicals that I love. If you know me in any capacity, you know that I am a huge Broadway nerd and that I really can't go a day without listening to some sort of musical. And I have a couple of favorites, and so I thought I would tell you guys today. Okay, I'm just gonna start. So, the first one is Hamilton. Um, this is pretty much just a basic, um, musical. I feel like everyone in their right mind that is in to Broadway has listened to Hamilton. I saw it at the CBIC, um, sorry, CIBC, um, in October, and holy crap, it was so good. Um, I cried a lot, so, <laughs> yeah, um, it was just so beautiful, and... The cast was amazing, and I'm probably going to go deeper into it in a different video. Would you guys want that? I kind of want to film it. So, I'll go more into depth on when I actually saw it. But, I saw the Chicago cast. And they were amazing. Um, yeah, I just love Hamilton. It's It was the first musical that I got into, and so it's got a special place in my heart. The second one I love is Dear Evan Hansen. Um, that was this actually hamilton wasn't the first musical i got into um I'll, the first one will be come later but um dear evan hansen was like the third one i got into and if you haven't listened to dear evan hansen you need to it is so good um ben platt left yesterday actually and i still can't get over it but I'm really excited for Noah to take his place because I'm sure he will do really, 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 really good. Um, I'm very excited for him to begin that. Um, Dear Evan Hansen, beautiful music, beautiful message. Must, must, must listen to. If you can get bootleg, it's even better. Watch it. <laughs> I endorse bootlegs because if you don't live in New York and you don't have the money to fly to New York and buy, and buy a ticket to a show, that's really the only way you can do it. Third one is Be More Chill, which is a new off-Broadway one. I guess not new, but it's newer. Um, it's I love the techno aspects because you don't really see that much in musicals. And I think it's a fresh, I guess, start to a new age of Broadway. And the message behind it and just the overall plot is amazing. The characters are so realistic and I love it a lot. It's very, it's a very creative story and yeah, it's great. The fourth one, the fourth one is Heathers and that was actually the first musical I got into. Um, Barrett is my fave, <laughs> so is Ryan, and like the whole cast is amazing. I haven't listened to the actual album in a while, um, but I really should do that. I wish they had the whole thing on Spotify, because that's where I listen to my musicals, but they don't. They only have four songs? I think it's four songs. So I have to listen to it on YouTube, which is kind of a pain, but I'll deal. <laughs> it's really good, and it's based off of one of my favorite movies, which is Heather's Winona Ryder is amazing, and more people should know about her. Yeah, that's Heather's, it's great. Um, my fifth one is Falsettos. Uh, more specifically, the 2016-2017 revival. Oh my gosh, it has all of my favorites in it. It has um, Stephanie J. Buck, Anthony Rosendale, Rosendale, Rosenthal? I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Um, Andrew Reynolds, or Reynolds, I don't know how to pronounce all the names, Christian Borle, and all kinds of other great people, Brandon Arwitz, they're all so great, um, the plot is hilarious, and I think it's just a bright, fresh, and funny new look into the homosexual agenda, and divorce, and it's, it's hilarious, and it's got real, real I guess it's got faults and like faults in the characters and stuff like that and I feel like that makes it even more realistic. So yeah, if you haven't listened to Falsettos, you really, really need to. <laughs> the fifth one is um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which is a lesser known musical, but if you haven't listened to it, oh my God, you need to. Um, the characters are 
hilarious and Christian Borle plays the perfect Willy Wonka. Um, I, one of my friend's brothers actually got to see it. Uh, McKenna, I'm jealous of your brother. Um, I, at first when I heard he was singing, I was like, oh, that kind of sucks. That's not a very good one. And then I listened to the soundtrack and I was like, holy shit, this is so good. Um, it's not like your, like the mute, the movie that Johnny Depp made and it's not even really like the book it's its own kind of spin-off um it's it's great it really is it's just one of those small ones that you don't really hear much about but you should hear more about it because it's great um the sixth one is the Book of Mormon um I've heard a lot of people don't like this musical which I don't understand why because it's absolutely hilarious um, if you want a new, like, fresh perspective on religion, and specifically the Mormon religion, it gives you a lot of facts and stuff like that, but it's just hilarious because it pokes fun at it all the time, and I really wish I could see it when it comes touring, but I don't think I can, so, yeah. My seventh one is Waitress. Um, I've only listened to a couple of the songs, um, but... It's already, like, really, 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 really good. I really want to see when it comes on tour. Um, Betsy Wolf is currently playing it, I think, in New York. I'm pretty sure. Um, and holy crap. I love Betsy Wolf. She's great. Um, eighth one is Something Rotten, which, and again, Christian Borle was in. <laughs> Can you see a pattern with me and Christian Borle? Um, it's great. It's hilarious. I love it so much. I think it's great <laughs> that's really all i have to say about it it's just great and then the last one i had it and now it's gone it is gone okay um yeah that's basically my top musicals uh leave the other ones that you like in the comments below i would love to listen to them i need more yeah uh, yeah <laughs> um my, I guess I'll do a little plug for my social medias here. Um, my Twitter is Suns... <coughs> my Twitter... Am I losing my voice? My Twitter is Sunset... My Twitter is Sunshine Child with a period after the H. I think. I think. I'll put it in the description. My Instagram is the same. My Snapchat is I'm a Howlter, no spaces, no capitals. My musically is Sunshine Child, like it's spelled below. And yeah, have fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one.